Hello, welcome to today's video. I'm just going to show you what I did this week for teacher work week and student back to school time. So phase in days, I teach lower elementary Montessori. I'm Miss Bethany. And so I have grades one, two, and three. And today, actually, the first years are coming for phase in day, which is just two hours. And I will show you what I'm going to do with them um, in this video. And then also we had meetings the last two days. We had back to school night yesterday, which was fun. We have some exciting things happening this year. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what I have also, actually, I'm going. Um, this might go up before or after the class tour. So the most exciting thing that I wanted to talk about now is um, um, the practical life shelf, which I will show you. So something new this year, which I think I'll go over these maybe Friday. I know not all the students are coming to phase in, so um, We'll see. I might save it for Monday to go over and hope everybody comes for like the first official day of school on Monday. So, um, but here's some things. I have a practical life list that they'll check off each month. So I have healthy body. So they'll do exercises. I'll have um, hand-eye coordination. I really want them to juggle, but we're gonna start with badminton while the weather is nice. Daily life practice. So right now it's going to be addressing an envelope and writing a letter. And then brain teasers um, for healthy brain. Sometimes we'll do like maybe meditation or um, ways to like mindfully think and positive thinking. But for right now, I thought it would be fun if the kids did like some riddles. And then follow directions will be an interesting one. I think usually it's gonna be like a snack thing, like place the cracker and then the cheese, but they have to like make it the right way. But for the first one, I'm going to do directions in order to find something in a different part of the school so they'll have to follow like left and right but it's just a way to practice following directions and then um music right now we're just tapping out different um rhythms spanish or language learning which it could be any language really but um i like spanish i have a degree in spanish so that's what we're doing, but they might also have a Italian class if our Italian teacher comes back too, so they'll have that too. And then the business one, we're doing needs versus wants, but just like a simple thing. Some kids were interested last year with it, so I think my third graders will like that where we could talk about like marketing and or like um, a, a product versus service type of thing. And so you maybe do a small business plan and just have fun with it, you know? So when they'll walk in, they'll hang up their backpack on their coat, and then I always have um, bookmarks. I kind of use the same ones every year. They're in my free hub if you want to go um, print them and use them. I print them on cardstock, and sometimes I laminate them if the kids want to, too, so they can last longer. But they'll color them. They can make their own, just whatever they would like. And then um, after that... When everybody gets here, since it's the first years, we'll do a class tour. And, and then after the class tour, they'll work on this. So one new thing I'm doing this year, as like a keepsake for the end of the year, um, they will fill out this for August and I'll go hang it up in our hallway wall. And so everybody in the class will have one and me and my assistant also made one as an example, we'll hang up. And then in September, we'll do another one and so on and so forth fourth so by the end of the year I can laminate them all bind them and it'll be a little book to remember this year by and then um after the tour we'll do this and while the kids are working on this I will be reading with them to see where they're at in reading so I can get all that ready to go and then we'll talk about the work plan we might hmm we might do the tour and then the work plan We'll just have to see but then the work plan i will go through and we will practice doing each one of these things but we're not starting any actual work we're just going through this and then um i will show them their portfolio so color their portfolio page so maybe i'll do this they can color their portfolio page that goes in the front of their binder and then um then do this i'll read with them We'll have a snack and then we'll do this activity so we did an activity where we had the cars and then um, popsicle sticks and index cards to make bridges and you put blue tape 
against two surfaces and then you make a bridge. Now what I thought the kids would do and what they did at first was just lay everything on top of but then they noticed the tape was sticky so I thought that was um, incredible that they figured that out but we have a bridge. Let's see another one. Here's another bridge and the little car goes on top and goes zoom. Another bridge and another bridge. Also, we're going to talk a lot about respect this year, and that's what we always do for our class, like respect yourself, respect others, respect the environment. Um, so like respect yourself is always be working and then be nice to yourself, respect others, obviously, you know, be kind to other people, um, you know, and also focus on your work for that respect yourself and then um, respect the environment, keep it clean and everything. So with the first graders today, I'm going to take open the dictionary and say, does anybody know what respect is? And then I'll read the definition and like explain a dictionary and say like, well, respect, like what does that start with and things like that. I might also... Um, I think I will. I think I will read um, the little a pe little peaceful spot to them and like explain the peace area to them and things like that. Please sign up for my free Montessori hub of resources that you can use in your Montessori environments. There are over 15 plus items including 453 printable math equation cards, Three, 36 weeks for first and second level editing sentences, and so much more. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.